I would predict that this is the year, 2025, is the year of AI apps. 2025 is a year of continuing experimentation. Generative AI is the single most disruptive technology that we have ever experienced in human history because we now have AI thinking better, faster than people most of the time for most of the tasks. One of the companies we invest in uses purely AI for buying and selling stocks. How did that company perform? Um, its market index fund we call it marketing, we call it AI enhanced market index fund, outperforms the market index by 30% per year. So if that number doesn't wake you up and make you realize that we humans are completely um, outshined by AI in its smartness most of the time and in its speed all of the time, um, I hope that will bring attention to people. Long-term trades, people are still better than AI. I'm talking about shorter-term trades, but AI will get better over time. Now we're in the era of AI applications. Uh, you're right that today ChatGPT may be the only multi-billion dollar application, uh, but there are many that are starting to make money because we're after two years with the investment in large language models and the infrastructure, AI is good enough, powerful enough, much better than a year ago. Many of the bugs back then, like uh, hallucination and uh, not knowing recent events have largely been fixed. And lastly, the infrastructure is performing well so that they're scaling and the cost of inference is coming down. So now we have a good platform that's good enough, fast enough, and not with so many bugs and time to build apps. So I would predict that this is the year, 2025, is the year of AI apps. We'll see it everywhere. Every app we use will be rewritten. Uh, search app will be rewritten. Um, productivity app will be rewritten. Video platforms will be AI generated. And they'll be fundamentally disruptive in consumer apps as well as business enterprise applications. So that is the best area uh, to, to bet in. Still a year of experimentation. The GPT-4 came out in March of 23. You know, there have been some improvements, but not that big over GPT-4. So we've had now 18 months or more to figure out how to use that level of AI capability. Other than software engineering, which I think has shown clear productivity improvements, I think most, for most companies, they're still experimenting. They're still looking for the killer application for this technology. So I think 2025 is a year of continuing experimentation. And uh, beyond software engineering, we've yet to see another significant economic sector where there's, there's a huge benefit. But I'm not saying it won't happen, but it's not there yet. And uh, we'll have to wait and see.